Well, I am impressed. Must be fun owning your own studio. <laughs> well, now, if you'll show me your office, I'll get back to mine. No, 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 dear. Come with me. You know, I'm the executive producer of our first movie also. Bruce Harvey's producer, and Don Lockwood wrote and directed it. Well, now, you're not going to show it to me now, sweetheart. I just don't have time. Come on. Yes, you do. See, this is just a, uh, a rough cut. There's no sound effects or music. Yeah, I, I really don't have time. No, J.R., you do now. You just sit down, get comfortable, put your head down, keep your eyes off the screen. Roll it. Just where do you think you're going, darling? I'm leaving you. You've been hitting the bottle again? I'm cold sober. I have been for a year and you know it. You walk out of here and you'll be in the gutter in less than a week. I've watched you cheat your brothers and cheat your friends and I've heard about the tramps you've slept with and I've stayed sober through it all. Imagine what I can do without you. Goodbye, my loving husband. And good riddance. Burn it, Sue Not in your life. Are you planning to put that trash in movie houses all over this country? That's normally what's done with the picture. Well, I'll have a team of lawyers all over you. You won't be able to take that garbage off this lot, much less show it. I'll have you in court for years. Can my publicity department quote you on that? It's exactly what we need to prove to the world that the movie really is about you. You're making a serious mistake, Sue Ellen. No, I'm not. I learned how to be devious at the feet of the master. All right, suppose I don't interfere. Suppose you release it. That's not only going to hurt me, it's going to hurt Mama and Daddy. And John Ross. What I saw up there is libel. It's not libel, J.R. It's the truth, and you know it. You see, you don't have anything to worry about. I have no intention of releasing the film at the moment. What the hell does that mean? It means that the movie will be locked up securely in a vault. But if I hear that you're planning to come after me, or if you cross me for any reason. Or if I feel that you're not doing right by John Ross, or anyone else for that matter. Or if I get up on the wrong side of the bed one morning. Or if I'm simply bored. Then I'll release the movie. And then, JR, you will be the laughing stock of Texas. So long. You'll never know if or when I plan to make it public just to humiliate you. Just for laughs.